Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. This is the second lecture on the histology of dentine. So watch this video till the end. In this lecture, I'll talk about interglobular dentine, incremental growth lines, and the granular layer of tomes. The interglobular dentine is the, are the areas of hypomineralization or unmineralization where the globules of the minerals, they fail to fuse. So this is a picture that is showing peritubular dentine. This is the intertubular dentine. So these are the areas that are poorly or they are unmineralized. So these areas of hypo mineralization or unmineralization are known as the interglobular dentine. So interglobular dentine is more common in the circumpulpal dentine, also known as the primary dentine. So in the interglobular dentine, there's only defect in the mineralization. The dentine architecture, it remains unchanged. It means that the dentinal tubules will be there. So you can notice the dentinal tubules in that in this unmineralized area. The same amount of collagen is there, but only the mineral content is less in this area. If you notice, this is the peritubular dentine. So in the, in the region of the interglobular dentine, the peritubular dentine is absent or it is very thin. So the, dentine, the, the dentinal tubule will be there, but the, either the peritubular dentine is absent or it is very thin. So this area is the interglobular dentine. The interglobular dentine is most commonly seen the person has deficiency of vitamin D or there is high fluoride level during tooth development. So the incremental growth line. So the dentine formation, it is usually in increments. So first, an unmineralized layer is deposited that is later mineralized. So unmineralized layer is known as the pre-dentine. So on average, uh, four micrometer of dentine is formed in a day. So this is the dentine. Here you can see these lines, it in indicate the incremental deposition of dentine. So these incremental lines, they are at right angle to the dentinal tubule. If these are the incremental lines, so the dentinal tubules, they are at nearly at the right angle. These incremental lines, they are, are at the right angle to the tubule. Same in the root dentine, so they are nearly at the right angle. So these incremental line, it indicate a five days deposition. So these lines are known as the von Ebner lines. The neonatal line. Neonatal lines are the exceptionally large contour lines found in the teeth that are mineralizing at birth. So this is the increment. These are the incremental lines. So this portion, it is mineralizing at birth. So here, the incremental line will be more pronounced or more prominent as compared to the rest of the incremental lines. So this portion is known as, this line is now known as the neonatal line. So the neonatal line are due to the disturbance in the mineralization uh, and it is physiological because of the physiological trauma of birth. So that area is more hypomineralized. Now, there are similar lines, similar to the neonatal lines, but those are uh, due to uh, systemic illnesses or due to the nutritional deficiencies. So the granular layer of tones, uh, granular layer of tones, uh, they, and they appear just below the cementum in the root portion, root dentine. So granular areas that appear uh, in the root dentine just below the cementum. So this is a gram section. Here you can see this is the cementum. So just below the cementum, this area is known as the granular layer of tones. And this is the remaining dentine. 
this granular layer of domes, it extends from the cemento-enamel junction to the root apex. So at the root apex, the granular, near the root apex, it, uh, the granular layer of domes is more prominent as compared to the cemento-enamel junction. It extends from cemento-enamel junction to the root apex, as I already mentioned. So the granular layer of domes, what are the possible reasons of appearance of this granular uh, layer just below the cementum. So the possible reasons are either it is a hypomineralized area of uh, the interglobular dentine. So it is an interglobular dentine area. So that's why it appear more black in color. So it is because of the second possible reason is, is because of the looped terminal portion of the dentinal tubules because the dentinal tubules they are they are have more branching near the dentino enamel junction and near the cemento dentinal junction so maybe it is because of the looped terminal portion of dentinal tubule and another and the last possible reason is it is because of some special arrangement of the collagen and the non collagenous proteins in this area thank you very much for watching please uh, do give me your feedback in the comments thank you very much stay blessed